first press statement coming from Governor Fubara is the brewing political crisis in the state, leading to the burning of the House of Assembly complex last Sunday night. Fubara says he's willing and ready to embrace the path of lasting peace and tranquility with a commitment to consummating all efforts and initiatives by President Bola Tinubu and others. But residents of the state want the governor to go beyond mere promises. According to them, the call has become necessary to prevent criminals from hijacking the recent political crisis to further breach security for their selfish interests. Those people that want to sabotage his effort and sabotage the economy and security of River State should be decisively dealt with through the ambit of the law. That is why I tell you, if you summon high power security meeting now, he is not practically a security man, but he is the chief security officer of the state. If you summon the security apparatus in the state now, and tell them to be decisive. At times, you need to be decisive to maintain peace. The governor needs to equip the security agencies. Now, one thing I see in Nigeria that is wrong, we are still so, so dependent on muzzle as a way of fighting crime. No, that belongs to the Stone Age. The governor should not leave security to the hands of people. He needs to get a security advisor who is conversant with the focus of the various security agencies who can be able to pilot and foresee what is likely to happen with the view of loop, uh, blocking the loopholes. Some of the respondents also suggest ways the governor of Fubara's administration could employ to check the festering insecurity in the state. They need to create, you know, a system where they could bring them together and take them out of this environment and unite them. Why they are there, they are talking sense into them. Bring them back. There are vast lands in Iche, vast lands in Ogoni, vast lands all over the place, empty space. They can set up agricultural, you know, empowerment programs for them. You train them, you settle them with agricultural, you know, skills expand the economic base i will politically discourage the imposition of leaders if you're not a popular leader don't do anything extraordinary to foist yourself on the people that in itself is insecurity of the highest order there is too much of imposition of leaders and the human spirit is the strongest army you can think of when you impose certain people on people they have a way of bouncing back there is no way they can have that same relationship. They will continue to agitate. They will continue to resist. Because from the beginning, they don't consider this person as their leader. Only last Thursday, the River State Chief Judge, Simeon Amadi, who granted 53 inmates of the Port Harcourt Correctional Center, pardon, called for effective synergy among the judiciary, correctional services, law enforcement agencies, legal organizations and community leaders in the criminal administration system. He also challenged the police to be more discreet and thorough in their investigation before charging suspects to court in order to help the congest the correctional facility. From Port Harcourt, the River State Capital, Andy Omano Omano, Arise News.